is Dr. Long Vo. And who is Dr. Julie Dow? I believe they're with Smile Center Dental outside of Toronto in Burlington, Ontario. We did a terrific interview with both of them for our Dental Top Doc Legends program because of the innovative work in dentistry that these folks are doing up they there. They have some groundbreaking work. And you're about to see one of the questions and answers that we asked them during our interview series. And then at the end, we have a lot more for you, so you want to stay tuned all the way to the end. Special offer coming for you. A very special offer. Stay tuned. This sort of sounds like a disease, the way this question is asked. What are the symptoms of teething, and what can I do about it? Now, isn't this when we go to the liquor cabinet, get a little something, and we put it on the gums? And no. That's not the way we're supposed to do it. Okay, so I, I haven't gotten to that yet with my grandson, so I won't do that. One, but. Yeah. Uh, so teething is, is basically when the uh, baby... Uh, tooth is trying to break through the skin and come into the mouth. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, and um, the, the symptoms are uh, for a little bit of uh, swelling of the gums or a bit of blanching of the gum because it's, it's forcing, uh, the tooth is forcing its way through the gum. It, it can be a little bit painful. Uh, the, uh, the child may start crying, um, avoid food. A lot of saliva. A lot of saliva. Um, and uh, it uh, putting their stuff in their mouth and uh, having a tendency to bite on hard surfaces just to help that tooth cut the gum so it can come out. And that's why um, cleaning baby's gum uh, is, is a good way to stimulate it and speed it up because um, having the tooth erupting through the gum is not very pleasant. So if we can massage the gum and push it down onto the tooth and help it cut it faster, uh, and, and it heals very, very well. So I've often brushed uh, my kids' teeth and, and seen a little bit of blood on the cloth, and I, my child is not crying, right? So to me, it was like, wow, that, that's a good thing because now the tooth is erupting and then uh, my child won't need to go through the, the painful stage. Uh, and uh, fever is not really common, but sometimes uh, uh, there's that misconception that maybe the fever uh, may be due to teething. But basically, if there's any symptoms that are uh, before uh, three days, let's say, the eruption of the tooth, and then symptoms after three days, uh, after the tooth has come in, uh, those are really related to the eruption. But uh, any symptoms that are before that, but there's no teeth coming in, then it may be something else, and you may want to consult with your physician. Uh, and if you have a question, we're, we're here to help. So just give us a call, drop in. Uh, and, and we'll take a look and, and we'll see. And, um, but it's a natural process. So, Do you ever recommend uh, anything like Aura Gel or anything like that? Or do you want to stay uh, away from that? Yeah, I'm not that type of yeah. guy that, that avoids medication as, as much as yeah. possible. But yeah. of course, if, if there's um, any doubt and if you think that your child is going through a painful stage, then uh, consult with your physician and, and perhaps a little medication can help alleviate the discomfort, but uh, remember it's, it's a natural process that will happen no matter what. So whether they're in pain or not, it's, it's going to pass and uh, it's, it's the way uh, teeth erupt and it's okay. just natural. And Dr. Julie, you were, you were kind enough to give me a little cheat sheet here, so I'm going to use my cheat sheet. There's some interesting ones here, other sort of signs and symptoms that you know teething may be uh, happening or about to happen. Uh, one that I would never have necessarily thought of is rubbing of the ears as well as cheeks. Is you know, so that well, the it's uh, irritating to them, mm. so it's itchy. So, so it's just the kids try to do I something. See. They try okay. to rub the ear. They try to rub the cheek. They, they try to you know take away that discomfort from from They're the jaw and get yeah. yeah. reacting okay. to it. Um, but generally speaking, it's you know the sim it should be persisting symptoms. Um, if it's something that the, the you, you've noticed the baby's been um, going through for more than a couple of weeks, just make sure that it's not other um, underlying condition um, And, and obviously that they may have. something like refusing food would be an important one to, to pay attention well, to. Yeah, well refusing food is if they're, you know, they're not comfortable, it's itchy, um, it, the area is tender, um, they may not have as much appetite. Um, but again, it just, you know, it just to make sure that there's no other medical condition mm -hmm. that um, they could have, and it's not related to the teething, um, because again, teething is a natural process, so the symptoms should not be severe. And they shouldn't last a long, long it time. It shouldn't last so. a long time. So okay. if they have persistent fever, consult your physician. Make sure that they're not sick or have other illnesses. Mm -hmm. um, 
if you, if you suspect the teething, again, is to make sure you wipe those gums and make sure you inspect the mouth. So do you see any little swelling area um, where the teeth will come in? If everything looks fine, um, then just make sure you rule out any other causes for those symptoms. Okay, great. Whoa, Dr. Mark, that's a good answer there to that question. That was terrific, but that's just the beginning. We have so much more to give you here. Where do we have more to give you here? DentalSecrets101.com. DentalSecrets101.com, what do we have there? There we have, hey, we have the entire interview that this was just one question from, but that's just the beginning. We have the Dental Secrets 101 special report. Oh, you do want to get that. That's a Absolutely. downloadable right away. You can get all these questions and answers, some new ones, some other information. Lots of information to take care of your dental health and the dental health of your family. But you're also going to get an ongoing newsletter with great tips for your dental health and taking care of your kids. But the interview is going to be terrific because it is just lots and lots of information with two dentists. And every time we add another series of these, we add it to the same thing. So you may find there's a lot more there than you even think is there. So if you liked this question and answer, now's the time to get even more. So click on that link that's down below, Dental Secrets 101, and get all of this plus so much more.